Would you like to see five different products that I would recommend potentially selling on Amazon? I say potentially because we'll see whether or not they're actually worth selling. In this video, I'm gonna break them down so you can see what kinds of products we would recommend at Marketplace Superheroes. Okay, so the first product is a crystal singing bowl. Yes, a crystal singing bowl. I had no idea what that was, but it's the carrying case for the bowl. I had no idea what a crystal singing bowl was until I asked Tony here earlier on who told me uh, what it was. I kind of get it now, but I'm not gonna get into explaining it because I'm gonna sound like a complete moron. That said, anyway, this is the carrying case for the bowl. You can see it right here on screen. It's got a really good price point, $75. And the images are terrible. As you can see, really, really poor and the, the title is not very good either, and the brand name is pretty poor as well. Also, bullet points weak. Why am I going through all these things very quickly? Because when you're looking at whether or not you can compete with a product on Amazon, the first thing you're looking at is obviously like the competition, which we'll get to, but once you've verified that that all looks good, now you're looking at a listing that is selling on Amazon, it's making money, but the listing is really poor. The offer is really poor, and this really ticks the box for that. As we scroll down, you can actually see this product is 15,000 in musical instruments. Now, musical instruments is a fairly big category on Amazon. Therefore, this is doing really well every single day, probably selling five, 10 units a day, somewhere in that region. Uh, can't be exact because it changes all the time. But let's just say it was five units a day. It's five by $75. So five by $70 would be 350. So best part of, best part of $400 every single day with this uh, crystal singing bowl carry case. I mentioned that the listing was poor, the offer is poor, you could do lots more with it because you know these people, they're using a crystal singing bowl for whatever they're using it for and you can start thinking around that, what else could I put in as an accessory or as an additional bonus item that no one's currently doing. That's how you can make the offer better. And then the listing title, I mean, that's just easy. You can make that so much better by looking at the, the actual keywords around the crystal singing bowl carry case. You can look at different keywords around crystal singing bowls and you can see what other keywords could I put in there as well. Okay, let's actually take a look at crystal singing bowl. The tricky thing is this, right? You could probably say it's a singing bowl carry case. Uh, but even at that, it's 390 results. That's the first thing we're looking at. Less than a thousand ticks the box there in a big way. And as we scroll down, right, we see that this company, right, these guys are clearly the bigger uh, company in this area. Top Fund, not a great name. As we scroll down, they're just everywhere with the similar type of product, right? Now it's interesting, the price points are really good for these products, you know, anywhere from 75 to $100. The reason that the, we looked at this particular one here was that it was selling well, 15,000, and the price point was a bit lower and also the listing was really poor. So you could definitely come into a market like this if you can find a good supplier and you can compete because these guys are doing very, very well. They're making a lot of sales and there's no one else really competing with them. So this is a good example of a market that's interesting. Also, some people might say it's somewhat of a confused market, which basically means that it's hard to tell exactly what I should be selling. The reason that they've got multiple listings here is I think it's because they're actual, they actually sell it with the bowl and they're different colors. This product here is literally just a carrying case. That's why it's $75, it's a bit less. And that makes sense because you probably already have one of these crystal singing bowls if that's what you're into. Uh, you probably already have one, but you may not have the carrying case. That's why this is interesting. Obviously, the bigger sales are in selling the full thing, which you could definitely take a look at as well. But I would imagine if we just went with a crystal singing bowl, probably gonna be a lot more competitive. Still 405, very good. So that's interesting as well. That could be worth further research as we scroll down this product here doing well. It's kind of strange that it's in musical instruments. I suppose in a way that's kind of what it is, is and it isn't, but it's certainly uh, really, really interesting. Like just, just this product right here is doing very, very well. I would say though that the actual crystal singing ball is a little bit more competitive, but that's one to take a look at as a good example of something that's interesting. Okay, so the second product we're gonna look at today is a plastic nesting box for chickens. All right, well, there you go. These things sell on Amazon. It's actually interesting, just as I do say this, years ago when I first got interested in online marketing and stuff like that and selling online, I didn't realize how big a market chicken coops were. Huge market, people were so interested in it. It always blew my mind, but this just, again, we're here with more chicken 
product things. So this product here is a nesting box and it has a perch as well, just in case chicken wants to stand out there and look at the view or whatever they want to do. As we scroll down, the not a bad listing title, it could be better. Item number this, this tells me that it's, uh, you know, this brand Little Giant, they're probably a little bit of a bigger company and they just don't really understand how to use Amazon to its full potential because they're putting in uh, model numbers, but it does tell me they're relatively, probably a bigger company. I'd have to do more research on that to be sure. Listing them is really poor, look at that. Terrible description, nothing there. These are not bad, but they could be better. And also price point, fairly interesting. So if we actually look at this and we say, all right, let's look at the chicken nesting box. Really, they do sell everything on Amazon. Look, we can see here bedding, mats, plans. There are more ideas for products as well. You could literally just look at the liners as another example. I don't know how well they're selling. Let's just go and take a quick look. And they're doing well. That one there, pretty good. And if you actually look, chicken nesting box liners, 133 results. So that could be another one to go and take a look at as well. Just a quick real aside here, you can realize that Amazon actually will give you ideas for products just as you're typing in your keywords. So always take a look at that. Anyway, we are looking at the chicken nesting box and we see 369 results, very good. That's the product we're looking at. It's Amazon's choice. It's the product that's doing the best in this category, it would tell us, or certainly the one Amazon want to push the most. As we scroll down, look, really nothing here for the poor old chickens to live in. And the, what is here is not great. So that would tell me opportunity in this area could be tricky enough to get a supplier. Uh, it shouldn't be too hard, but it could be relatively tricky to get a supplier for this type of a product. But that's something that's really interesting. It's a really odd product. It's not something that's like a supplement or something like that. Certainly not all that sexy. It's very interesting. I shouldn't have said sexy there because that was weird. <laughs> Next product is a Studio Pro Organizer. Now, the first thing you're gonna see here is that this title is absolutely terrible. I mean, Studio Pro o Organizer 15, that's literally what it is. And so it's organizes glass scrapbook paper or patterns, uh, 15 slot organizer, half inch opening. So again, really terrible listing. One image, the product looks super cheap, does not look good whatsoever. And it's a decent price point, $16.11, which is a weird, it'd be $15.99 in our world, or $14.99, depending on the price that we get from our supplier. Doing okay, 16,000 in office products, it's a big category. So that's a relatively interesting item. So what would we look at here? I, I think it would be pattern organizer or something like that, I'm guessing. Pat pattern organizer. And now pattern organizer, it's not, it's not the right one because it's too much. Uh, let's see, glass. Could be like a glass organizer. I'm not too sure of the exact, I can't remember how we arrived at this particular item, which is why I'm having a bit of trouble. That's there. Uh, I'd have to go back and check exactly how we arrived at this one. I cannot remember, but just to say the actual product listing itself, this is what we're looking for, okay? Uh, this item is actually sold and fulfilled by Amazon. It's sold by Etails and it's fulfilled by Amazon, but it's a terrible listing. It's absolutely something we could go in against. The trouble here really is just that keyword. You'd have to spend a little bit more time finding the keyword that we initially uh, wrap. Stained glass uh, organizer, could be that. No, that's not it. I'd have to go back and check that. But anyway, not to worry. That's a good example though of a listing that we'd be looking at as an interesting thing that we could easily compete against. I mean, you could have a much better title when you decide exactly what the keywords are you're going after. Bullet points are terrible. We could improve them dramatically. This is something that could just be easily blown out of the water so, so quickly. So that's this one. Let's move on to the next one. All right, really quick quiz question. It's a while since we've done this. I'm gonna give you a quiz question today. And if you do win, by the way, I will send you some nice merch, like a nice t-shirt or a hoodie, something like that, whatever we have in stock. The question is really simple. When we are looking at a product on Amazon in the search results page, when we type in a keyword, let's just say plastic shoe boxes, and we search that on Amazon, how many results are we looking for on Amazon? Is it A, 3,000? Is it uh, B, 1,000 or less? Is it C, 10,000? Let me know right now down in the comments what is the answer, A, B, or C, or you can just type in 3,000 if you think it's 3,000. And that's it, back to the video. All right, on to the fourth product for today, and it's a rain barrel connector kit. Yes, it is that exciting. This one makes a lot of sense because at different times of the year, you know, a rain barrel is gonna be something that's used quite a lot. At the time of recording, we're heading towards the summer, so it makes a little bit of sense that something like this would be very popular right now. Although, in certain places, it's gonna be popular all year round. What can we say about this? Well, look, number one, photography is poor. 
it's not the worst, but it's quite poor. Like this is not a good image. Now it does show what it does. It just could be done a lot better as I'm sure you would agree as well. Yeah, interesting product, you know? I mean, it really does serve a purpose. I think if we look at that listing, not a bad title, but could be a lot better. Again, using this, this model number, which tells me that it's probably a relatively big brand, uh, Rainpal and different people are just selling it. This company right here, Old Egg USA, just selling that product, got access to it or whatever. And as we scroll down, you know, it's doing really well in, in, in patio, lawn and garden, humongous market, probably doing 10, 15 sales a day, something like that. And uh, yeah, this is an interesting product. I really like it. So if we actually go and take a look at it then, rain barrel connector kit, we can see 141 results, fantastic. As we scroll down, all kind of similar, like we could do a lot more with the images, we can make it look a lot better. So this one is great because what's available is not very good at all, as I'm sure you would agree. So that's like, whenever we find a keyword like this, it's great because this is what people will be searching for. They're looking for the connector kit. They're not looking for a rain barrel kit. They wanna connect two rain barrels together. So we know this is a good example of emulating the customer experience. This is what people are typing into Amazon. So it's interesting. And say as we scroll down, we can just see that no one's really, it's all just horrible looking listings, not great at all. So you could easily come in, compete with this one, make it better, do a couple of different pack sizes as well, potentially. Uh, see this company right here trying to do that as well. Uh, you can make it a lot better and just come in and do well. You're not gonna make a ton of, like you're not gonna make 100 sales a day of this thing, but that's okay, you're gonna make sales and that's what it's all about. Last product for today as another example for you. This is the large wall file holder, yes. I almost messed that up. Anyway, let's take a look at it. We click in here to this product, and this is what we're talking about, holds files on a wall. Wow, of course it does. That's exactly what it is. It says in the tin, it's Ron Seal of wall mounts. Now, a couple of things. Number one, the title is pretty good on this one. Lots of different keywords, stuffing the keywords ever so slightly, but pretty good in fairness to them. Decent bullet points, images not bad in, in fairness to this company, and as we scroll down, good, you know, good listing. Um, these these guys clearly have brand, our brand registered, so they've got a slightly better product. Doing okay, a little bit out of range, but this this actual would be a good example of a market that is probably on the bigger side. So we'll go uh, wall file mint. So it's it's again it's it's doing quite it's quite a lot of listings here, uh, but these are not the same product. That's the that's the issue that we have. This is a similar product, but it's not the exact same. So as you can see, a lot of these are just not the same product. Some are doing very well. It's a smaller version of it. As we scroll down, not too many competitors really in this space. The reason that there's a lot of results for something like this is these keywords, wall, file, mount, holder, are in lots of different product listings. Amazon's trying to figure out what we're looking for and they're taking all those different keywords and they're indexing them. So I don't think this market is per, as, as big as you might think, but it is on the bigger side. Uh, that said though, you know, I think as well, it's pretty obvious what we would do. We'd make this a little bit better though, add in some extra bonuses, something like that, because we know that it's gonna be put into like an office style environment or a home office style environment. So again, what do home offices need that we could add in as a bonus? They're filing things away. Could we give them a bonus to do with filing, that kind of thing? And that's where it'd be interesting. I would say this is probably the weakest example today, but still a decent example nonetheless, because this listing is quite good. That said though, like if you think there's only gonna be one listing of a product that does well on Amazon, you haven't been watching too many of these videos. As you know, there could be hundreds and hundreds of listings of similar products that have slight variations, different keywords, different things like that, and they're all gonna do well. So again, it's a decent example, gets you in the mindset of what we're looking for, and I think that's what it's all about today. All right, so I hope you enjoyed this video. I certainly enjoyed making it for you. It's a while since we've done a video like this. Make sure you jump down below, click on the like button on this video, subscribe to the channel, number two, and also if you've not already become part of the Marketplace Superheroes world, click on the link down in that description or in the pinned comment and get access to some free training to teach you how to become an Amazon seller from complete scratch and a global Amazon seller, not just any old Amazon seller. With that said, I really hope you enjoyed today's video. Make sure you put that comment down below as well that I asked for and I'll see you in the next video.